And I watch kids with blocks. What I really see is a little window into the way they're doing spatial problem solving. Can you picture the world from different perspectives? Can you understand how two puzzle pieces could be rotated to fit together? Things fitting together, that's the kind of problem solving we do in a wide range of domains. So I actually will confess that I've always had Legos on my desk. People joke that I did that once I became a parent. I had them long before I was a parent. What really got me thinking about it, though, was watching kids play with blocks. There's several things we know. One big takeaway for parents would be that we really do think there is evidence that these skills are important for learning. If we examine spatial skills early on, they will be predictive of how well a child does in math. The bigger takeaway message is that what we're talking about with spatial skills is something that probably underlies those academic skills. And the best part about training in these skills is that it's largely play. Numerous games really have spatial qualities. Things like Minecraft, which looks an awful lot like building with blocks and with Legos. And kids are playing these younger and younger than what we've seen in past generations. But the reality is we live and act in a physical world. Working with basic blocks in your hands are probably what are going to have the biggest impact. What I actually suspect is that it's really the combination is where our kids ultimately need to go if they want to build these skills really well.